Because a lot of times when you have gotten in this space, it just did not happen. It's been years. It's been months of you not tending to your sex life or not being intimately connected and not being emotionally connected. And that's the reason why you're in this state. Hello, beautiful lady. Yes, I am talking to you. It is Thursday and you know what goes down here on Thursday. Wife Life with Dr. Gail goes down here on Thursday. So do me a huge, huge favor. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you will know when I go live. We're bringing sexy back. We're bringing sexy back. Let's get it started. Pardon, won't you give it up? And so tonight I want to talk to you about what is sexual anorexia. Now we as women especially know what anorexia is when it comes to the eating disorder. I'm not talking about the eating disorder. And even though the eating disorder is something that really needs to be dealt with, I'm talking about sexual anorexia, which is a choice. It is a choice that you make to be not sexually intimate, not sexually emotionally tied to your spouse. This is going and running rampant. And I want to talk about it because so many people are living in sexless marriages and and a lot of my colleagues are now calling it anorexia, okay? So again, this condition has nothing to do with the horrific anorexia disorder that a lot of women and some men do have. And if you're withholding food, it is detrimental to your health and to your life please seek help. Okay. I, I just want to say that because it is very important to me. I had a college roommate that passed away because of anorexia, which is a true eating disorder. But sexual anorexia is something that is a choice that you make. And I want to make sure that you know the difference. Okay. Here are some of the signs that you or your spouse is dealing with sexual anorexia. You always keep yourself so busy. You're busy with technology. You're busy doing work. You're busy doing housework. You're always on your email. You always make yourself so busy that you cannot engage sexually. You can't be intimate and you can't be emotionally available for your spouse. Number two, you or your spouse blames the other person for not wanting to have sex. They blame you. They blame something that you've done, something that you said. They blame you that you don't make the time. That's the reason why they don't make the time. So they deflect and blame you for the reason why you guys are not being intimate in any kind of way. Number three, they treat each other like roommates. So they either fall asleep on the couch, fall asleep in the, the chair, fall asleep in another bed. So you won't have to engage engage and you behave like roommates. You purposely stay up later than your spouse or they purposely stay up later than you to make sure that you fall asleep so they won't have to engage with you at all. These are some of the signs of sexual anorexia, okay? And it's not good. Number four, you pick a fight whenever not having sex is brought up to deflect, to put it on you. They pick a fight if they say, okay, we can have sex tonight. So they won't have to perform that because she's mad or he's mad and you won't engage. These are some of the tactics that people who are dealing with sexual anorexic use in order not to be able to engage with you on a regular basis. So let me tell you some ways that you can fix this, right? The first thing is that you have to acknowledge it's either you or your spouse needs to acknowledge that it's them. And sometimes it's hard for you to acknowledge that you're the person that is withholding sex in your marriage. Or it's hard for your spouse to acknowledge that you guys are in a sexless marriage. But it needs to be acknowledged. The root cause needs to be gotten to in order for you guys to get better and for you guys to heal. You need to seek professional help. Because a lot of times when you have gotten in this space, it just did not happen. It's been years. It's been months of you not tending to your sex life or not being intimately 
connected and not being emotionally connected. And that's the reason why you're in this state. I get people from around the world telling me we have not engaged in sex in six years, seven years, 10 years, 20 years. That is a travesty unless you both have agreed that you're not going to engage or there's some kind of illness that has happened that has occurred. But at penetration sex is not the only way you can be intimate. And so many people get that wrong. So seek professional help because obviously you cannot fix this on your own. And number three, make your spouse and your marriage a priority. Your spouse is the only walking, talking, living being that you said that you were going to spend the rest of your life with. And let me just tell you, if it's you that's withholding sex and doing all of these things, if you're the person who's walking in sexual anorexia, or if it's your spouse that's walking in sexual anorexia, let me just tell you this. When you said, I do, you became the sole source of that person's sexual pleasure. And if you no longer want to walk and have that title, then you need to have a discussion on why you don't want to do it and how you guys can live through this or call it quits. I don't like to say that, but so many people are suffering in marriages because they're in a sexless marriage and the other person does not want to do the work. When you signed up, that was part of what you signed up for unless you guys had a discussion and you touched and agreed. Yes, I am a Christian woman. Yes, I don't like to see divorce, but you only get one shot at life. So don't make your partner suffer because you have decided you want to go a different way and you're not verbalizing that to them and allowing them to touch and agree or make a different decision that best benefits them. Okay. I pray that this teaching has benefited you guys and you have learned something. I am here if you need me. I am a licensed sexologist. I am a licensed coach. I am a licensed therapist. Again, I am here to help you guys. And I offer a free 15 minute discovery call where I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to help you. Okay. I love you guys to pieces. I am here every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you next week.